Oh my. It spawned in Danny's head. We are here. <laughs> oh, one dot ah, 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 uh, uh, All I see is head. Me too. Bye. Why hello there, and welcome to the first episode in the world of Accessing File Abysmal Depths. And I have landed here to start my new beginnings on this strange new world. Okay, you probably know how the first days on a new world goes, so let's do an overview of it. To be honest, I had no plans coming into this world. All I wanted to do was check out the new 1.18 caves because I had not experienced them yet in the game and I was eager to explore one. So I got the basic tools and roamed the area around spawned and found this cave entrance with a single torch but it didn't look like anyone had mined there very much. But before I went in I had to get more food. But even before I did that I decided to build a hut for no reason. I don't even know why I built it. Anyway, after building that, I went and ventured off into the night and discovered that there's a small house across the lake that another member of the server had made. I found a bed inside the house and I went and slept the night away. And in the morning, I gathered all the wheat from the farm outside, made some bread, and then went around and got some meat. So after Getting enough food to last a while, it was time to explore that cave. Going into this cave was awesome, and right away I clicked coal for torches and went headfirst into the dark, placing torches as I go. And look at that huge cave. But there was 10 monsters chasing me though, and I almost died. So I healed back up and crafted the iron sword. Then I went and did a thing. And that thing was, well, my first death. Reaper. It's always the creeper the first time. Anyways, I fought another creeper once I got back, got my stuff back, and then I remembered shields existed, so then I went and made one of those. After mining some iron, I go and almost immediately after almost die again, but I discovered a lush cave underneath me that I would go to later. Then started smelting what iron I had gathered and started making some armor and some tools. And now it was time to go into the deep slate part of the cave for my first time. And not too long later, I found something. Ooh, I did. Being used to binding before Caves and Cliffs update really made this a different experience. Because before I would just go for diamonds and there would be iron and coal along with it too. But now with the new ore distribution, 
which I did not look at, iron and coal doesn't really generate down by deep slate, which I quickly found out. Also, you have to light up so much more space than before, and use a lot more torches. So, it wasn't long before I ran out of torches and food, because fighting all those mobs does use a lot of food. So I just ended up going to that lush cave biome that I saw earlier. Also, I did another thing by missing some diamonds that I didn't see. I'll get those later. Another thing that I found out was that lush caves were so much more peaceful. I already got so much iron up here. The glow berries light up the area so that less mobs spawn, and they're also a pretty alright food source for when you need it. Speaking about glow berries, I went and mined some more iron. Then I found a fish. Now this is no ordinary tropical fish. No, this is pet fish. Pet fish is a tradition that I've done on every world I play on for years now. It's kind of hard to explain how pet fish originally started, but pretty much it's just a fish that stays in your inventory forever as a pet, and you hope that you don't die in lava or anything or lose it from despawning because when that happens that is always a sad sad day. I know from experience because someone I know hasn't been able to cope since it happened. After gathering up some more ores I swam up this waterfall up to this pretty cool looking cave entrance and after checking the area around it and looking around, I decided this would be a pretty cool place to start building my starter base. And ideas started to flow through my head in what I was going to build here. But first, I gotta add corners to this hut I built earlier. And I made a diamond shovel out of that one diamond I found when I was caving. And with this newfound diamond shovel, I went and dug up and placed the floor into this little hut. Oh, and if you're curious, this is what loot I got from that cave down there. So, for my starter base area, I began by clearing trees around this hill and flattening it out. And while I was doing that, my idea was, since I was going to be living by a giant cave entrance, I was thinking about doing some kind of mining camp. Like, maybe adding tents around a campfire, and having paths go around to certain areas. And we'll just see where that goes and just go from there. I also started the beginning of a wheat field because those glow berries I found in the caves really didn't last that long. And with this wheat, I started a sheep farm. And after breeding sheep and collecting wool for about 30 minutes, I got enough wool to start making a tent. And after a little while, I got the basic shape for a tent down. But before I could finish building it, Maddie, another guy who plays on the server, said he found a pretty cool spot that he had to show me. So, let's go see what he's up to. Hey, there you are. Azalea tree. Hello. 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 Want some bread? Uh, I guess. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. So the me and Danny's base is his way. Let me look at these exact coordinates here. Negative three seventy six by three forty nine. And I'm so bad at parkour in this game. It's not that hard. I know that's why it's sad. <laughs> Oof. I guess I actually now I think about, I don't think I'm good at parkour in like any game. Well, Panda, watch out! I'm gonna come after you. Uh. <laughs> Half of my inventory is just filled with food because soup only takes one slot. It seems like I think you gotta find a more efficient system for surviving. Yeah, I'm working on it. 
wheat just doesn't grow fast. I mean, you just gotta build a bigger field, man. Dude, whenever I see like people like playing Minecraft on YouTube, yeah. I just like how how the heck do they parkour so fast? And they can like go and then place blocks beneath them so like they make jumps and stuff. I'm just like, I mean, I can do that. Does... I can do that a little bit. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, you're like basically a legend at this game. I'm saying like a normal person. How would a normal person do that? Since when did I become a legend at this game? I did not know this. <laughs> Dude, when you're when you're like metric of comparison, it's like comparing to me. Then it's really easy to be amazing <laughs> at this game. Oh, hey, a parrot I should tame it. I need to get a seed. Taylor, Taylor's lost like thirty thousand parrots already. That's tragic. I I overshot. I'm I'm bad at following coordinates. Okay, it's not my fault. Oh wait, I went the wrong way again. Ah. Come on. Get tamed or oh my goodness, I fed you four seeds. <laughs> How many seeds do you more? need? Need more seeds? Okay, I got it. Nice. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. Oh look at that. We actually wait. Hey, we actually gotta go this way. Which look at way that. are we going here? <laughs> it's a it's a really small opening. It's kind of a design flaw. Oh, wait, I found it. It's that big pillar of deep slate. Oh, yeah. How did we miss That's that? It. I don't know. <laughs> we ran like right next to it. Follow me. I told Danny he should have made stairs, but we're just going to have to endure the pain. This is the building right here. We have iron doors because it kept getting broken into by zombies. Looks pretty cool. Oh wow! Yeah, you can thank you can thank Danny for this whole place. He did basically everything. That jungle wood looks really good with the deep slate bricks. It really does, actually. It's kind of crazy, but yeah. I don't know if we have anything cool in this box. No, not really. Yeah, we we've actually got quite a bit of like ores and stuff now. I mean, relatively speaking, we don't have that much. Actually, I could have swore we had a lot more. Oh well. But. Yeah, we've been we've been having fun down here. So, have you gone on any epic mining adventures yet? I did on the first day I played. Mm. Anything awesome? I got a diamond. <laughs> uh, I was trying oh, to yeah, get a food side to come up. Uh... Is it possible to even strip mine for diamonds anymore? Oh yeah. What level get to but do it's it actually on? easier just to find caves now. Yeah. Yo, Maddie. What's up? Aha! Aha! Ahoy! <laughs> no, uh, it's not ahoy. It's uh, aha. Uh, aha! There you go. Uh, Dude, when I go into like. Third person view, it looks like there's just something stuck in my eye and I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. So, there's a lot of redstone. What do you want to do? Huh? Hmm? What'd you say? So, what do you want to do? Uh, I was going to probably finish my tents so I can actually have a finished house. Hmm. Want some more bread so you don't have to eat so much soup? I mean, I think I'm fine on food right now. I just got a random assortment of food all over the place because I kill everything in my path <laughs> that drops food. I don't I don't want to be associated Dude, with you anymore. you don't drop anything food like oh wait, actually you do. You have food on He's your inventory. That's the only reason why you're not killing me. <laughs> I mean, you do have food in your inventory, right? I, I do, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, look at this! One of any sunset spots. Have you have you found dude, them? Dude, you can see the stars. What in the world? Dude, did they do that? Sometimes I'm telling you, it just happens. <laughs> yeah, I I've heard about his sunset spots. He was telling me about them. He was making one last yeah, he... time we were playing. You got a slime about to. Uh oh. oh Why? He dead. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> dude, your bird. I think. Oh, your bird's on your shoulder now. No, dude. So, 
what I'm thinking, you could either like make a castle in there, or you could just turn the entire thing into obsidian. They would both look awesome. Like a giant obsidian floor, basically. Yeah, because you can't make like the nether lava into obsidian. Hmm, this is the closest, true. closest you can get to doing it. Actually, if you if you're willing to do a quick exploration, want to come with me so I can show you one of our other cool things we found. It's a big dripstone spike. Wow. <laughs> See that slime just fall from the ceiling? <laughs> yeah, there's a ledge up there. There's a ginormous yeah, dripstone spike over there. Oh my goodness. There's so much cool stuff down here. And honestly, we haven't even explored the half of it. I literally can't even see anything. Yeah. Let's see. I think we might have climbed the wrong one. There's several water elevators here. Some are right, some are wrong. Hey, I found the surface. Oh my goodness. This is actually exactly where I wanted that to show you. That looks awesome. Yeah, dude, this is actually the place I wanted to show you. Oh my goodness. This is goodness. the place where I think we can build a base. I actually haven't found a dripstone cave yet. But yeah, dude. Check it out, though. Look at these layers, like these rings leading down, and you can see the surface. This would be, like, I think, a cool looking base. You know, in one point, uh, uh, before I wanted to make a base kind of like this, but this is like 10 times better than mining it all out. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just natural, and then, ah, I hate skeletons so much. But yeah. Me and Danny explored this area quite a bit, but we got so much stuff down here. I mean, we didn't get a lot, but we got like 15 diamonds. Hey, do you think this would be a possible place to build a base? What do you oh, think? yeah. Because like, look at this cool ring. Like there's like levels to it. Like you could build like walls and stuff over top of those rings. Like you could build like buildings along the rings looking down. You could build like, you could build buildings coming out of that little... I would even call that a little viney biome over there. Lush and you cave. Could do, it just could be so cool. And dude, you could have like a garden right here in the middle on the floor, like a little forest right here on the floor. Dude, your bird is entirely too loyal. But yeah, down here, dude, this is how we got to the base that I that I showed you just a little while ago. Me and Danny's like underground base. This area here leads to it. Yeah. Uh, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna go grab some of these ceiling fans. Stay kind of cool. I mean, you could at least destroy your diorite. <laughs> You're destroying the natural beauty of this landscape. Sorry, I need these. I need some of these ceiling fans. They make cool particles. I I, I placed one, but I felt it just felt dirty having it in there because it's like, man, it's leaking everywhere. How does it dirty? It's green. <laughs> it's like spewing like toxic waste or something. I don't know what's coming out of it. <laughs> Oof. Let's go. I want to go back down here. I want to. I want to see what it looks like from above. I have no idea where I am anymore. <laughs> yeah, I want to come back down here. I want to see what it's like. Like what a base could look like down here. Like, can you? I mean, I don't know about you, but I can like see it in my mind. Where like we have like. All our buildings wrapped around the this like that circular cliff thing. I don't know how to describe it, but that that thing down there. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I mean, to be like, honest, there's so. I'm just thinking of building all tons of things on this world because there's just so many cool possibilities with this new world gen. <laughs> Maybe we could build here and in the area above. Like this whole area just becomes our base. Like, let's look. Let's look again above here. Like we could make this like the over side, like the like the top portion of our base. And that could be like the bottom portion. It's like this area too looks pretty cool. Like a village just wrapping around and throughout this whole down underground below. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So probably well, have it like maybe, looping maybe all around not. down below. Depending what you're calling a village. <laughs> Earth. Well, a village in my book is not a village in your book, I think I can safely assume. Yeah. The village in our last era was just three dudes trapped in a box. Dude, that's the only way to keep them from not dying. <laughs> I mean, it's really not. You could actually like just build like an enclosed system that looks nice. 
Yeah. But anytime a villager can move around us, anytime it could die. <laughs> it's a risk you have to take. Oh, Let's man. go up there. I want to. I want to see what this area looks like from way above. Because I, I mean, it's like I mean I know you kind of already said it, but you agree this would be a really sweet place, don't you think? Oh yeah. Oh, and here's the uh, entrance to that big cave down there. Like it would just be so cool because you could look from way up here, and you could just like yeah. see our whole village then, down there. Think of when we get Elytras. Dude, I know. Danny is talking about that. Like, we could just fly around. It'd be so cool. Hey, Matty, did you know you can one-hit bamboo with your sword now? I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with that feature, but... Before you know. couldn't. Now you can. You can totally, wow, you can totally obliterate bamboo now. That's crazy. Also, let's go up here. I want to see what it looks like from way above. See if there's anything cool, like mountain structure we could use up here it's like we, maybe we could have like big towers up here like overlooking everything yeah overlooking the five chunks worth of land we can look at <laughs> <laughs> so this, can go this base could well thing. over be more than five chunks dude okay this would be pretty cool imagine like a tower up here and a tower on the other end there like right straight across from us and then like mm -hmm. down below we could have like we could have like a courtyard or something down there with like all our bases coming out of it. Like there's so many cool things we could do here. And like and we the got jungle just makes it look right even better. What? what does? The jungle just makes it look even better. Yeah. And like that way too, there's like a big mountain there. If we want to build like a mountain base attaching to it, that could be pretty cool too. Like this I don't know, this is my, my boat right now. Yeah. What's this? <laughs> Where is where to go? Oh wait, suspicious stew. Why, why is it suspicious? <laughs> You're gonna have to find out. It won't let me eat it. Oh, I'm not hungry. Yeah, don't eat it right now. Eat Dude, it when you. It's a pee uh, in the or a pee in the, uh, the tree. In the, wait, no, it's a pig in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> did you, what? It's a. <laughs> it's a trash. Yeah. For some, That's a suspicious in the stew. Tree. Uh, makes it so you regenerate heart oh, faster. Oh, I'm hungry now. Let's try it. <laughs> no, don't eat it now. Eat it when you. Oh, it's gone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's not coming back. <laughs> uh, whatever. Here's our bay. Uh, it's not pretty big, but I mean, it could work. We could build a cool boat in here. Uh, what what's another water word that makes more sense than a bay? Uh, dock. Yeah, let's go with that. Port. 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 I don't know. Where'd you go? I was. Oh, you're right up there. I'm. I'm right above you. <laughs> oh, what's up with these floating leaves? Something happened here. Hey, I know where I am now. Oh, good. I I don't. I'm just literally just following you and hoping that you're not leading me somewhere to kill me or something. <laughs> hey, now that you say it. <laughs> I mean, I'm only like 80% positive you don't intend to kill me for, for my food. <laughs> what about the other 20? I don't want to talk about it. Whoa. Hey, look at Spawn. Wait, wait. Whose base is this? Just Taylor's? This is Spawn, bro. Yeah, Oops. but who made that little wooden house? We didn't, we didn't have a wooden house last time. We just kind of uh, left. I made that, actually. Oh, you did? I think... I'm oh, not used, I haven't Dude. used it. I think so. I think... I don't know. Well, just, I throw a cobblestone. Just whoever uses it. I think it's Joanna. I remember her, so she was cobblestone. trying to get the one cobblestone achievement. Oh wow, someone died right here. Look, someone died here. Oh. That's interesting. I'm gonna pick it all up so don't despawn. Yeah, let's pick up the most valuable stuff. And then... Interesting. Who died in rage yeah, quit? Someone definitely died. Why would they rage quit when they're <laughs> raped by spawn, though? <laughs> No. <laughs> we'll throw out some of these raw resources. Diamond like pickaxe, that. sword, uh, redstone. 
I'm just putting it all in this double chest. Yes! I don't know who- who's that? What the heck, man? I don't know. Uh, uh... You want these three slime balls? Sure. It's like there scattered all over the place. Someone- someone must- I'm confused. Dude, it was- it was a very gruesome scene, it feels like. It it's, must have been uh, a creeper. Yeah, creeper. Wait, explosion. no, there was a creeper hole here before, though. I made a creeper hole there before. Then what happened? They just spontaneously burst into flames or something? No idea. Looks like they had a bed on them. Tropical fish, glow berries, powerful bow. One rotten flesh. Yeah, I have no idea. It's really funny, actually. It's <laughs> probably a good thing we found that. <laughs> yeah. It deserves this bird. It's way too loyal. Dude. He's gonna just watch when you go. He's just watching you work. I know. It's a good bird. If I had a name tag, I would name it something, but I don't know what to name it yet. You should name it, um, uh, Bird. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the thing is, that's way too generic. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's not. I love it. <laughs> How about you name it uh, Bartholomew? <laughs> Barth <laughs> yeah. It seems like a pretty generic bird name to me. Okay, yeah. I, I agree Westa with that one. That one is actually name a good it name. Bon. Yeah. Barth Did I name Barth oh, my. I can't even say it. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Oh, how's it going, Bartholomew? Kaka! That sounded <laughs> almost like a. Aha! Aha! Oh, literally, all I have in frame right now is just his face. Yep. You just can't get enough of him. So, we had a pretty good chat about the things we might do in the future. And while I didn't show it, I got enough wool for the tent and finished it. And you'll see glimpses of little things I'll add to it later, too. But now it's time to meet with someone else. Another bro of the server, Taylor. Hello. <laughs> Aha. Oh, oh, nice big game you have here. I know. I think I checked this one out too. We came up. This is one of the spots we came. Me and Josh came up when we were exploring, and oh, we really? found your tent. Yeah, I was like, "Ooh, who's this? No idea. I don't know. There's so many people on the server. We don't know." Oh, he's Nobody so knows cute. Where anybody is yet? Did you tame oh, him? Uh, you can. Well, you give them enough fish, then they won't run away from you. Oh, I have to go fishing. I do. I do have a fishing rod. Oh. Is he uh, warning you about creepers? Yeah. It's been doing that constantly. Mm -hmm. There's always <laughs> creepers big, around. <laughs> must have a big range. Where'd that uh, cat go? Not showing up for me. It's in the boat. I don't see the boat. Oh, you got Look. the glitch. Hey, stupid boat glitch. Did it just disappear? No, it's... Yeah. So if you the break the boat, the, will it show first, up? Uh, it will. Oh my oh, goodness, I got egg. a name tag. <laughs> I'm gonna go find it's some right here. spiders. Oh, oh, you disappeared. Yep. What? <laughs> so, oh, you look like you came out of a portal or something. Yeah, so the thing, the glitch is, when you get out of the boat, when it's like, it teleports to where you placed the boat and started moving. Oh. But in multiplayer... Yeah, it's it's only for you, so I can still see the boat. The cat's still so you, in here. For, for me, you would be way back over there where I put it. Where is it? I want to try clicking on it. I can't. Uh, don't hit the cat. I'm not. I'm just clicking. Here. I don't think I have enough There's... iron for anvil. 
We can need an air uh, vent in here. I got a sea link fan. Hmm? Ooh. <laughs> nice. It, it goes through the walls though, and you can't place it on a fence post. Wait, maybe mm -hmm. can I put it on a wall? On the furnace. Oh, you can't put them on walls. Bummer. Oh. <laughs> nice. Not a whole lot of room, but I like it. I'm gonna be building more. More tents? Uh huh. Like the carpet detail. We were gonna name tag that baby ocelot that was in Taylor's boat, but it despawned for some reason, and I don't really know why. But we found a wild one in the jungle, and we named it Topaz. Now we can leave him to roam. Topaz. Hello. Oh, you're so nice, Topaz. Every time I see you. We also went and made a bunch of soup, too. This is going to be my soup barrel. It's always going to be full of soup. Can I have some soup? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm making it. Dang, oh, I forgot to combine it. Already? I forgot to combine it with flowers. Now I just made regular soup. Oh. After a while, I did some little tent improvements. Like making a moss floor for inside my tent. I also had added this campfire outside that I can't remember where I saved the recording of and scattered some coarse dirt around to make it look more weathered then realized I didn't place coarse dirt so I had to do that all over again. I also planted an azalea tree that looked pretty cool. Also, I still didn't know where coal is found, so I made a bunch of torches out of charcoal instead, so I didn't have to worry about finding coal anymore. I also raided this pillager outpost that I had found, and got, like, the most amazing loot ever possible you could get from a pillager chest. Yeah, it's not very good. But anyways, on that little trip, I also got a really good horse that I named Apollo. F fishing is the greatest. Like, I just got like the best thing ever you get from fishing. Lily pads. Bartholomew, you're such a good bird. <laughs> yeah, he's a good bird. Okay, so Maddie, Taylor, Danny, and I went on an adventure to explore this cool mountain area that we found. I also discovered that iron and coal is best found in the mountains too. And there's also some pretty great views on this mountain range. I also mined a couple stacks of this calcite stuff that looks pretty cool. But before any of that can happen, something tragic happened. You're not talking about the vines that are supported, we're talking about the ones that are just in the air. Yep, I know. That's a good oh, thing Danny's crazy. Oh, thing. hello. No! Wait, Isaac? <laughs> <laughs> Isaac? I could you slay Bartholomew? I could you slay Bartholomew, but second, how dare you? I would also want. I also would like to know how. how no. How you dare? <laughs> Not Bartholomew. Poor Bartholomew. Isaac is so sad now. I am gonna vanquish every what? zombie out there. <laughs> oh no! I've, I've got his favorite snack. Seeds. <laughs> Gotta make a little and actually his favorite just snack so with, uh, gravestone. <sighs> oh no, he dropped a feather. <laughs> you must you take keep it that and name now. it. Name it Bartholomew. 
Why don't you just mine these emerald blocks? I found uh, one of them that you outlined. I knew that was going to happen. He <laughs> just hey, appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> there, Isaac. There. You'll survive. There. <laughs> Even though Bartholomew did not. <laughs> <laughs> The grief is just too much. Hey, man. Yeah, you only had Bartholomew for like, what, two days? Dude, I had pet fish for like three years. My pet fish wasn't alive. Like, Bartholomew was the thing I could Yes, he was. Alive. <laughs> he was alive. Danny's convinced. He was alive. His eyes hadn't, didn't have X's over them, which meant that he was alive. Now that's why you shouldn't go mining when you have bad omen with your parrot. Rest in peace, Bartholomew. You will be missed. It's not my fault. I was just chilling and a zombie came and punched me in the back and knocked me off a cliff. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I found a bigger <laughs> desert. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Phantoms, Taylor, why? You to save them. Uh, who's next? <laughs> who's, who's by a tall cliff? Not me. I'm, not. I'm by lava, though. I can make it happen. <laughs> uh, I, I should have known that would happen with phantoms. <laughs> That's alright. I got a lot of... We've got a lot of extra eggs. I'll just duplicate the chickens. Hey, my That's stuff all right. is all here. It was here. my chicken coop. <laughs> I actually <can't> <laughs> Yeah, well, you're not whining about it. No, I'm not. But I am. Mm -hmm. Eat my little baby chickens. The more you eat, the bigger you'll grow, so that way you can make more chickens right away, so that way you can die. Circle of life. And then I'll, Beautiful. <laughs> and then I'll eat you. Beautiful. That's just. Oh. Wow. So many melons. I kind of feel like being laser beam and making a giant melon bar. Don't you dare. <laughs> okay, now you've gotten to the part of the video where me and Danny argue about automatic animal farms for the next, like, five minutes. Oh. Yeah, I don't really understand how automatic farms are torture. When... People literally stuffed like a thousand cows in a 10 by 10 pen. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're living, bro. So are the ones in a farm. Like one second and then they get burned by lava. <laughs> so yeah. Good life. So are the ones in a pen. They get bread, and then they all get caught in fire by a fire aspect sword with looting three. You know he's got a point. Ours are loving, ours are loved and cared, though. <laughs> yeah, right, Danny. You just want a food. Oh, uh, ours are all loved and fed by hand. The inefficient way. Oh my goodness. All right, baby chick, I'm sorry, but I'm going to force feed you all these seeds <laughs> until you get really massive and fat. They're going to murder you. <laughs> oh. well, we're getting, Didn't you say getting my farms scary. are bad? <laughs> oh my goodness. Danny, Danny it's, you've it's become the very thing you're about to destroy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just in a different just... way. Watching him massacre chickens right now. Okay, <laughs> you doing it one thing. They have live evidence. Me. I'm just watching to. and doing nothing. It's almost as as bad. <laughs> you're at fault now too, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Taylor, it's up to you to stop Danny now. <laughs> the only way I can stop him is to kill the rest of the chickens. <laughs> How does that help? Anything. <laughs> it doesn't. But at least he'll have no more chickens to kill. She'll run out of food. 
I like how my solution to like getting more food is to make a big garden, and Danny's just like, I must make chickens. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I stuff on your crops. Daddy will destroy you. I gotta rope in some cows and force breed them to get some. You gotta do what to cows? Daddy. <laughs> I need to get some leather. <laughs> Wrangle. Say that again, Danny. Cows real quick. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Duplicating cows. <laughs> Cloning. Mm. 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 <laughs> Duplicating. <laughs> Well, Isaac, the only difference between my farm and your farms is that your farms, the, the animals end up staying there forever. And in my farms, they only stay there for about 12 minutes. That's and not this possible. Is better how? <laughs> yes. It's not prolonged torture. <laughs> no, it's only brief torture. Oh, yes, of course. Yes. I mean, that is kind of humanitarian a little bit, I guess, except for cows. <laughs> it's cow, cow, it's cow, cow humanitarian. <laughs> well, anyways, after that whole ordeal, I was mining for moss, and I managed to find this vein of diamonds, and I actually got 14 of them from this one vein. Definitely the biggest one I've ever found. I also had acquired a name tag, so I went and used it for my horse. I also made a little business arrangement with Taylor because he was stacked. I gave him a jukebox and cat disc for a Fortune 3 pickaxe. And I also had made this super secret barrel in the ground for my valuables that no one will ever find. Alright. That's going to be it for this first episode. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned. I may have the next episode within the next four months.